Let's go and pull that up a little bit more. There we go. I don't know how I did this. I was so happy with it last time. Uh, let's sync this, shall we? Hello, Ectosage here on my Ectosage section. Hello, Ectosage here on my Ectosage channel, and I just thought I'd go ahead and share a few thoughts I had about Jurassic World. I saw it, um, I don't know, probably a week ago now, and it was a pretty good film. And uh, as per usual, when I see a pretty good film, I left the theater feeling a little bit depressed. In fact, if it's a really good film, I'm going to be really depressed because I'm leaving that world, and I hate leaving like this fantastical world. Like, after I first saw Avatar, the movie, not the last Airbender nonsense, the actual Avatar movie with the blue people running about, I actually felt really depressed after I saw that, and I was about really depressed for probably about two weeks, and it's because it was such a fantastical film, this, you know, world where these people are running about through trees, all this nonsense, I know, but... It was also beautiful and fantastical and so in touch with the nature, you know, the very opposite of what our human world is, and that's what James Cameron was going for in that movie, is, you know, the show of very in, purely in touch with nature, even the way they could commune with the trees and with the whole planet and all that. It was amazing, you know, so that was a fantastic experience that left me depressed for about three, two or so weeks after watching it, just because it was so good. And Jurassic Park, I was depressed after leaving the theater... But I found out it was from a different reason. It wasn't because I felt like I wanted to be still be in that world. I did a bit. The idea of these dinosaurs and stuff, and it's all very fantastical. But I found it was because of the way the movie ended. So obviously, spoilers incoming. That kind of goes without saying, I guess. But I'm saying anyway. Spoilers incoming for the movie. Nothing's off the table. And the way that the movie ends is with the good guy CEO, the nice Indian. I, I think I had a feeling it was like Iranian almost, but the nice... I'm going to just say Indian. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, please. And kindly don't take offense. I, yeah. But anyway, I liked his character an awful bloody lot. He was like a very nice guy. And you could tell he was very much in that sort of nature of, you know, it be calm, be one with nature and all that. But unfortunately, in the movie, he goes ahead and he's like, I, I'm going to make things right. And he hops in the helicopter and he gets killed you know and it, often in movies too when something like that happens i'm like oh god do this do that you could have survived well that movie i was thinking about it after the fact too and i would have died too i think if i was in that same situation for one i might have taken notice of the fact that the dinosaur was running towards the big enclosure with all the flying dinosaurs in it the pterodactyls i believe they're called and maybe stop shooting at it out of fear it would get in there but Nonetheless, if it had breached the same way, I probably would have still been in the same situation because the second that hole was built, those damn things flew out of there quick and he died. You know, his helicopter got hit and, well, maybe you could put it down on top of the dome, but he went down so damn quick and there was no chance in hell that he survived too. Just the fact that he went through and then, well, maybe he'll survive the crash and fireball. Dead. Really quite a bummer, frankly. Also, by the way, forgive me for the way I've dressed a little bit. Uh, today, I don't know how I got this thing to look so nice in that first vlog thing I did. I liked it a lot more than that. This one, it's uh, it's looking finicky. I'm not quite happy with it. I don't know. I guess I sh maybe I should have worn a real shirt, but, you know, it's hot in Florida. Anyway, moving on. So that, that kind of made me a bit depressed, and then there's a whole military takeover and all that blah, blah, blah that I'm sure you're aware of if you've watched the movie. Also, that bugged me that all of the command staff left. I can understand them being like, okay, whatever, the military dudes here, hired by the company, they're coming over the takeover, that's fine, let's skedaddle. The fact that they skedaddled all the way to the evac ships, apparently, and the fact that the second those military dudes said, okay, we're out, they didn't come back in, that really bugged me. Because, I mean, you're in charge of this zoo, basically. Surely you care for the animals that are contained in the zoo somewhat. You're in what should be the safest room in the entire place. I mean, you have to use an elevator to get down to that room, apparently. So, why not? Why aren't you? Why didn't you stay somewhere nearby so that the second, if those military guys leave, you can come in and take back over? Because at the end of the movie, and this is the thing that actually made me most depressed, I realized, wasn't that that the good guy CEO died. That was very depressing, but it wasn't just that he had died and he was the one that had inherited the legacy from the kind old Santa Claus man in the beginning, in the original movie. No, it was the fact that in the very end of the movie, that island is completely abandoned. That dream that 
the original founder of Jurassic Park had, that this guy had picked up and so willingly carried on and wanted to carry on in an even more pure spirit than the original of just these creatures existing, even though money did sort of get in the way, but he wasn't directly involved in that. It was almost as if, you know, he just said, oh, get this done, but, you know, it's for life, for enjoyment. And then, you know, they go and do something silly for money reasons, military money reasons. It wasn't just that that awesome guy had died. That was very heartbreaking, but I can live with that. What really made me depressed was, as I said, this that dream that he had picked up and he had been so willing to carry and correctly carry is left on the floor in the end of that movie in tatters. At the end of that movie, there are two dinosaurs out of containment. Absolutely everything that happened in that movie was down to that one main dinosaur getting out. Well, I say two dinosaurs, there's all the flying ones. But let's not forget that those flying ones were largely stopped by a group of five or so guys with sleeping dart guns. That means that you can easily take care of them. Which means at the end of the movie, there's a bunch of flying ones that theoretically, once they stop most of those flying ones, they should have been gathering them up and tying them up. I'm assuming, you know, there were obviously a few still left but I'm assuming that that's what they were doing. And that once all of those had been theoretically scooped up, there was a few more. It means at the very end, as I'm repeating myself, there was only the Raptor, Blue, and the one T-Rex, which somehow ended up having a quite a relationship there at the end. I'm not quite sure I feel all right with that, but whatever they did, they were the only two dinosaurs out of captivity that we don't know if they could so easily contain them. Because they've proven they could take down those pterodactyls with a few sleeping darts and a group of five or so guys. And Blue, theoretically, is a pretty damn awesome little pet. <laughs> I'd argue more than a pet. You know, obviously, it's got a mind of its own. So, I mean, but that's just it. It's just Blue, which you can theoretically control and reason with. As long as the alpha male's there. And then the T-Rex, which theoretically you've dealt with before, you had in captivity, and surely your people were trained to take care of that. So if they're not all dead, which clearly they weren't all dead, because they did have those people with those stun guns taking out the pterodactyls, get the park under control. Get things locked down again. Don't let the dream die. Don't everyone get on the bloody ships. And you might make an argument that, no, no, I'm sure after the you know credits roll, they've gone back and you know they're actually keep taking care of it. Maybe. Maybe, okay? But what leads to me what leads me to feel like they didn't, and even if they do, thank God, but if they had just added a little scene that didn't involve the one guy that had stayed in command grabbing his little dinosaur thing, shutting off the computer and walking away. That's what leads me to believe that it is all just scrapped. That's what really made me depressed, is because when you think about it, he was the last guy in the command center. Everyone else should have bloody came back, but apparently they had just skedaddled to the evac ships. The second Blue ran off, Owen and Claire and the kids should have gone straight back to command and they should have tried to make sure everything was still going all right on that evac and then try to coordinate whatever they were going to do the next day. Not just run to evac with everyone else. They should have gone back and tried to make sure everything stayed stable. Because let's not forget, it's a zoo, right? That T-Rex was being fed in its cage. Well, now it's out. Apparently it had been socialized because it wasn't just a maniac like the other one. Of course, you could make an argument with some genetics as well, but the T-Rex is out. It's going to try to find food. Is it even going to find anything to eat there besides the pterodactyls? And maybe those little uh, triceratops buggers that were being ridden on by kids, huh? What's, it's going to, what's it going to do for food? Is it going to end up actually starving to death? What about all the other animals that are locked up in all their other different cells and stuff like that? That movie leaves you in a very dark place, actually. If that place is actually abandoned, there's a lot of innocent dinosaurs that are just locked up, doomed to die, maybe escape, who knows? You know, maybe it'll go like the other island where it is just run by raptors and a few other bunch of other little random things. But it still leaves me feeling depressed because that dream is on and tatters on the floor. Just because there's two dinosaurs out of captivity now that they don't exactly know how to take care of. Hmm. Anyway, I just felt like sharing that. I uh, was a lot more irritated at that the other day. I kind of cooled down over the last week or so. 
Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's that. I just felt like sharing my thoughts. Um, told you, this channel's gonna be more just random me talking. Next up, I've got no idea. Whatever comes to mind. Maybe just me staring at the camera saying just how much I like Mad Max. Maybe me talking about biscuits. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you a bunch for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta!